finna crash us on this goddamn plane with the type of bitch you done picked. Yeah. It's not realistic. <laughs> so a lot of us don't qualify for those type of men because we can't manage ourselves. You cannot, you can't have a man that, imagine if you worked at a company or, you know, at your companies, you have a bunch of employees, yeah. which requires you to manage people, which means that you have to first manage yourself because we look at our bosses yeah. with a certain level of respect. You coming in with an attitude with us because your wife done ran you crazy all afternoon or all morning at the house. Like, you're, you will not have very many um, employees that are of value. That's what I was going to ask you, too. And I'm glad you already hit on a lot of the things that I was curious about because um, one of the things that I was going to ask you is that are women, are women realistic in what their expectations are with regard to dealing with certain types of men that make certain type of money or, or carry a certain level of prestige or have a certain level, you know, lifestyle? Because I'll say for me and a lot of the, fr a lot of the guys that I know, we not available like that that often yep. right sometimes i'll be gone or i might be work, working 16 18 sometimes even 20 hours a day you know what i'm saying depending on what it is that i'm doing mm -hmm. um do you think that women really understand what it is that they're getting themselves into when they ask for a no. certain level or a certain caliber of man? no no not at all how do they <laughs> how do they do because women always say the one thing my wife always says which it doesn't affect us but that's just inherently who she is she yearns for me right she always say, if I ask her, I say, because we do these self-checks, like, yo, how you feeling, where you at, whatever. And I say, you know, if you could have anything, what would you say? And she would just say, more time, which, mm -hmm. you know, more time with you, whatever, which is one of the reasons why she just started working for me, because it, it enabled her to be able to spend more time, right? But um, are women unrealistic as far as the amount of time that they're requesting from a man, especially depending on what it is that he does for a living? We are. And I'm I'm gonna I'm saying this, I'm including in that. Because really? I, I am that way with my partner. Like and, and I could tell sometimes from a man perspective, he may not even get it, but I'll be like, just come sit right here. Just for a second. Like yeah. just sit out, just sit yeah. right here. Like and it has nothing to do with sex or touching each other or none of that. Like we the way that we need that and it comes natural yeah. this is why i say when women be saying they don't want a man they lie bitch stop lying <laughs> it comes out of you naturally yeah. when especially when you find that person that i i genuinely this my person you want all the fucking time you could get with them mm -hmm. and if we as being that woman if you can't manage yourself in regards to your emotions or have some sort of logical side you will fuck your marriage or your relationship up mm like rigorously demanding time that it's the man don't got to give you yeah and then of course when you get into you know successful men you guys understand a lot of what i do is to buy back my time when you listen to billionaires talk right. that's all they talk about is buying back their t i chase you know bigger investment deals to buy more time with my family and my kids because after a while you start to realize at some point i'm gonna have more time behind me yep. than in front of me yep. and now it's time to really look at what am i going to be known for what kind of legacy am i going to have are my children set up if i go before my wife what is she gonna her lifestyle gonna look like if she goes before me that's what am true. i gonna need yes th this is when the grown folks side kick in you start worrying about your health and you want to spend more time exercising and looking at diet because when we get into eating and exercise that requires time it does even when you talk about eating healthy it does you got to have a bag if you really want to eat clean it requires money you're right or you got to have the time to grow your own food and if you if you talk about exercising you got to have the time you can't get buff or built or physical overnight there's no machine to go get fit Oh, you got to put in time in the gym, yeah. you know what I mean, for yeah. this stuff. Yep. I agree. The, one of the reasons why, even in our household, like the decisions that we make of whether or not we want to get, you know, a cleaning service or, you know, a, a chef for that. Which I'm for is, all that stuff. Well, they, it's, it's because it's it, it enables us yes. to not have to deal with, okay, I don't want you in the kitchen cooking all day. When I get home, I'd rather spend time with you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about that. No, because, you know, we we too far in. Yes. We've been in this thing for a long time. We didn't have got past all of that. Now it's just, yo, I want to spend time having, spending 98% of our time having a good time. I'm not about to be dealing with all of that other shit, right? Let, let me ask you this, this question. Because uh, I was telling you off camera before, um, and I, I never say his name, but my, my homies, right? And it's not just him. It's him and his friends, <laughs> right? Uh, and I don't believe that they truly understand women. 
Okay. And I don't even believe that I was like them when I was their age. You don't think you was ever? Never. Not even close to them. I was. Di- we was different. And maybe it was because we didn't have social media. Um, it wasn't as prevalent or nothing like that because right. I was born in, you know, in 82. So in the 90s, we was getting numbers, you know, and all. It was different. It was real life interaction. They would rather shoot their shots in the DMs than approach a woman, in my opinion. Right? Right. It's but that, e- that, on just it's that. easy for them to fall in love, lo- love. Like, they. You think so? Oh, my God. It seemed like when they see a girl, all of a sudden, they be like, you know, they just be feeling her all the time. And, <laughs> and my, okay, if you had to give a young dude, let's say they 19, 20, 21, 22, what's the oldest amongst y'all? 19, 18, 19, 21, 22. If you had to give them advice with regard to women, just general advice, what would you, what would you say to them? Experience us. Multiple, like date. Date. Do not get caught up on one. Because the first thing you got to do, and you said it earlier, is learn women. Hmm. Women, meaning us as a group, not one woman. When you're young like that, you're you're focused on learning one girl. You need to learn women in yeah. general. And you need that experience as a young man in order to value one woman when you get older. Yeah. You won't when you don't have that 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 space of like knowing the value in monogamy or setting certain relationships up where there's a clear understanding of what we're doing. You don't have that. The other thing is, if I'm just gonna be blunt, look the fuck around. The music teaches young women. We're not talking about a a well put together mental woman like me. I'm saying just the average female in that same age category. The music says, fuck these niggas. Get all you can get out of them. You the table. That nigga ain't shit if he ain't doing nothing for you. What the fuck can he buy you? Bitch, is he paying for something? He better pay for you and your friends. If he can't, he a fuck nigga. Girl, fuck that nigga. And if he don't do right, fuck his friend. The music is saying it's over and over and over and over. And every female artist popping is saying that. Every one of them. You can't name me one that's popping right now just in urban hip hop that is not sending the message Niggas is not valuable. Fuck them. Get what you can get out of them. Bitch, I'm in Miami. I'm looking for my baby, a new pappy. What's up? (laughs) This is what we're being programmed. So, and you can't ignore that. Like regardless of one individual girl, you cannot ignore that the culture right now that's being fed to young girls is this. So I don't give a damn how much I kiss on you, love on this girl, be on FaceTime with her, take her on dates. You have to be honest that outside of me, she's being told otherwise Mm -hmm. 